Rosemary friends, let's fall up these beautiful tapered candles. Friends, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, so I've got these two ply napkins from Dollar General. They were two bucks. Yeah, I splurged, right? I know. Um, and I get it down to one ply, but look at how pretty they are. Can you blame me? These napkins are beautiful. And I showed the package because it says two ply. If you're ever curious about getting it down to one ply, that way you're not trying to get it all figured out. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So I have these tapered candles. I got them from Michael's. I think they were 90% off at the end of the season. And I'm just going to measure out, you know, just put the candle on and roll it so that you know about how wide to make it. And now what I'm going to do is put my candle on my napkin and I'm going to make the napkin, make sure that it's just really close to your candle. And now I've got a heat gun and do this safely, please. Um, and I'm just melting the candle underneath that napkin. And the napkin is actually going to just absorb right into the candle. Does that sound crazy? It is crazy awesome. I know. So, but you see how I'm just doing, and it looks like I'm right on top of my candle with my heat gun. I'm not. It's definitely at least an inch away, but, and I'm moving it just to make sure that we don't get any hot spots. But see, I'm doing the first part just to kind of get it adhered so that we can cut off the excess. I'm not good at cutting. I've told you before, I can't cut a straight line for anything. <laughs> It's okay. I do other things well, so I'm not too worried about it. But then, okay, so then the excess is cut off and now we're going to just keep going. So what I do is I do a little bit and I roll or do a little bit more heat, roll just so that the whole thing is adhered and melted in. It's really not rocket science. Um, it, it just takes some time and it takes some effort. Effort as in watch what you're doing, don't burn yourself, you know, that kind of stuff. I have seen people use their um, parchment paper and an uh, iron. If you can do that without hurting yourself, great. There is no way I could do that. But see how when I get it all adhered and it's, I wind up rolling it under my hands. Um, and then I'll go over and do it one more time where I'll get it nice and kind of um, melted. And then I'll roll it again just to make sure everything is adhered um, and inside that candle wax instead of um, pulling up. So there's that. Look at already. Already, look how pretty that looks. Oh, I do sand off the edges. Um, do it really lightly. I'm trying not to get it so that it. I don't want it to be, you know, gouged. Um, and then I just really gently do the top. I do one more heat and one more roll just to make sure that I didn't pull anything up when I sanded it. And that is, friends, that's it. I mean, I did two of them. Um, but what I did here is this is a Dollar Tree um, tapered candle holder. And all I'm doing is I have an old candle that I'm melting, put some of that wax on the bottom. And then I put my new candle on the and that, and then I let it dry and then it adheres and it stays in there because these were just a little bit too loosey goosey for my taste. But look at how pretty. Now, do I burn them? No, we don't burn candles in my house. So they're just decorative for me. If you were to do to burn them, I would be very mindful. Candles are fire hazards in and of themselves, but add a napkin to that and it might be a little bit worse. So just be mindful. Okay, friends, I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you. Thank you.